Hi everyone, my name is Liam. Welcome to this match preview and prediction for the match between Hubert Hercax and Alexander Bublik on January the 1st at the United Cup. Let's get into it. Coming into this match, you know, Hubert Hercax has been, you know, playing here and there, just getting some tennis in. He was at the, the Rio Tennis Classic and, you know, he's just been keeping fit. Alexander Bublik already played a match this week so far at the United Cup, losing to Stan Wawrinka and, you know, Alexander Bublik's always one of those hit and miss players. He's got extreme talent and, you know, the, the control he has on the ball and on his serve is incredible. But he's not one of those players who applies themselves week in and week out, especially at a tournament like this where you wouldn't really, really say that Kazakhstan has a chance of, you know, lifting the cup. So I don't think he's he's really interested or in putting all of his efforts into it. When you look at someone like Herkax, he's always... You know, he's always consistent. He's always trying to play his best tennis. He gets very angry with himself. He doesn't really show his emotions on court, but you can tell, like, his little twitches in here, like, that he he wants to play perfect tennis all the time. And that's, that's to be honest, that's a great thing because you will, never, you will never achieve perfect tennis unless you're, like, someone like Roger Federer or, you know, Novak Djokovic or Nadal. But you can get, try and get close to it, and if you try and get close to it, a player like Hubert Herkex is the type of player that you're going to face. I think Herkex is extremely underrated but he also doesn't show up too much in the grand slams i think in these smaller tournaments he's always going to do well because his big serve and his big forehand and he loves to come into the net he's he's always trying to take time away from his opponent in this head-to-head -head, you know it's very in favor of hubert Herkax. their first meeting was in 2020 where bublik won in straight sets but since then they've faced three more times and Herkax has always won in straight sets he's not given up a set to bublik since then and i think in this match, I think it's probably going to be the same thing. You look at Bublik's match against Stan Wawrinka. He played okay, but, you know, he, he lost against Stan Wawrinka, who, you know, is a great player. And I, I did predict him, if you look at my video, I did predict Stan Wawrinka to win the match. But, you know, Bublik, if he was in on his, on his A game, he should be winning the match. He should, because he's, he's obviously younger. He's got more weapons, technically, than Stan at the moment, just because of Stan's age and, you know, his lack of play over the last few years. Bublik should technically be better than what he is, but he's not. So I think coming into this match, Herkak should take this match quite easily. Straight sets for me. Uh, and then, you know, I think the serve, the plus one from Herkak is going to be too much. Bublik tends to get quite impatient during long rallies, whilst, you know, Herkak likes to stay in him. He's just consistent, patient. Bublik will try and hit something a bit too big to end the rally, make it, you know, he's going to try and do a winner extravaganza and, and it's not going to go his way. And whilst Herkex is going to be patient, wait for his moment and take the control of the match. If you want the best bets every single day from our writers, please visit tennissection.com. And if you want the best bets from me and our expert writers, please visit tennissection.com forward slash premium to get them straight to your email and become a member.